All right, this is update 27, I believe, of the French Biointensive Organic Raised Bed Garden Series. The weather's eased off some in the rain, so I've been leaving these tomatoes on to turn yellow. Um, a lot of the ones that I picked were just getting moldy inside, so I decided to go ahead, since the squirrels don't really go after the yellow ones anyway. Um, I decided to go ahead and leave these on the vine to ripen. These Lillian's Yellow Heirloom Tomatoes have just done tremendously. They were late to start, even though they were planted at the same time. They stayed small for a very long time. When they exploded, they exploded, and I am getting consistent tomatoes from them still. At the end of October, it is just uh, pretty remarkable to me. Um, the nights are getting down to 45 and they're still ripening on the vine so that says an awful lot for this uh, type of tomato and I'm definitely going to grow it again next year. I've still got some peppers in here. It's a golden treasure. Um, these are golden treasures. Uh, there's some jalapenos still coming right there. Um, the lettuce is doing okay now. It got really leggy in the beginning, but it seems to have settled down now. Uh, the, oh, what is this? Red Russian. The Red Russian kale is still doing very well. It's still left in this bed. Um, the Black Tuscan kale, I've really only got the two there left that are in any kind of shape. These ones, they might come back, but they got eaten down pretty well. Ugh. Ooh, I have a ripe watermelon. Let's hope that this guy is not uh, overripe or underripe. Because most of them have been. The Anasazi beans, um, they are starting to get the speckles on them. And that's where you want them for drying, for seed. Probably another week I'm going to pull these up and dry them in the garage. But that's the coloring you want on the pods before you pull them. Okay, I still have some tomatoes over here, but they're pretty much done. The Constolutos, Constoluto Genovese. Um, they were pretty early in comparison to the Lillians. I've still got some Abraham Lincolns here that are ripening. They're doing pretty well. Um, but like I said last week, I pulled the Opacas. Uh, that is a paprika pepper. It's supposed to turn red. I have not had one turn red, so I don't know. Still getting lots of yarrow flowers. I've got parsley and cilantro and fennel. Um, the basil's pretty much been eaten completely down by slugs. Stuff on. The comfrey has a lot of speckles on it. I don't know. Um, Never actually flowered, but comfrey comes back from the rootstock, so I'm not terribly concerned. Okay, I've still got a lot of common sorrel. I've got a lot of, oh gosh, now I can't remember if this was French sorrel. I think it's French sorrel. It might be English sorrel, but I think it's French. And there's just a tiny bit of the red blood vein still coming, but it's pretty much over with. Oh, hey, look, there's a carrot I missed. Oh, there's a couple more carrots I missed. Um, I've been pulling leeks as I've needed them for making soup. This one I am going to uh, save the flower head. And uh, you saw how I did the onion seeds. This, the leek seeds will be exactly the same. Uh, I've got, still got a few of the calendula, but I am letting it go to seed. I want this whole corner to 
to have plenty of seed in it. Um, I pulled out the squash vines. I don't remember if I'd done that before. Um, I'm going to plant some of these strawberry runners over there. Um, I just, I, I was sick all last week. I did not get the chance to do this. Uh, but they're like crazy over here. The alyssums come back and it just smells so sweet. It is, that's like, I don't know. If you've never uh, planted alyssum, it's just an amazingly scented um, flower. The thing that was here that I was sure was cabbage turned out to be cauliflower. It was a cheddar cauliflower. We picked it, we're going to eat it uh, this week. So good. The Cosmos self-seated outside of the bed of course because that's what they do and let's see this chart here it's coming along pretty well it's getting a little bit of sun scald uh i'm not sure why because it hasn't been getting above 65 but who knows oh there's some opelka still on this end that are coloring so that's pretty good they're the only alpacas I have left. I pulled the other ones. Despite the rain, there's still a couple raspberries coming on. It's very slow, but they're still there. Um, oh, my broccoli has a head on it. Look, I'm excited. And that one. Key and that one. Broccoli can handle the cold weather. It likes it actually, so that's pretty good. Um, so I'm happy to see that because I haven't seen that before. It has, celery is still doing good. I'm uh, working my way through dehydrating it now. Um, I still have my sacrificial plant here so that the bugs pretty much go to it and for the most part leave everything else alone. Uh, the chard in here is doing pretty well the bugs do seem to get some and it tends to be the the more the ones with the more brightly colored stalks that they go after it's the yellow and the hot pink uh, they don't seem to go after the green ones the solid green ones quite as much but there's plenty so i'm not concerned at all about it and then over here there are the rest of the strawberries they're gonna have to be separated out a bit and taken down the length of the bed and I keep meaning to pick these two kohlrabi but I haven't gotten around to it yet anyway that is the update for this garden for the week